Hey everyone, it's Brian from uh, Struggler Photography, and I am back, and if things look a little different, we're in my, uh, my office, and I'm actually trying some new software and a new setup. So hopefully this looks a little better. I am using um, a real camera instead of the built-in camera. I also have a, a good microphone, so hopefully the audio is a little better. I'm not as close to the mic as I would like to be, but I'm kind of re restricted by, by my setup right now. Um, and hopefully I'm in focus. It's kind of hard to figure out the focus. So anyway, I am uh, back again to kind of describe the how I got a shot, um, the background information on how I made this shot possible, any technical information, the story, whatever. So uh, hopefully this is interesting. Um, I tried just doing a like a PowerPoint last time, and my wife said that's boring. No one wants to watch that. So I've at least got my face down here in the corner, and I'm going to have the, the photo blasted up there so you can see both as I'm kind of talking. Uh, so hopefully this will be more interesting and more useful for you. All right, so let me pull that off the... Look at that. See, I'm already figuring things out. I got the text to pop off. Um, so this photo is actually very recent. I believe this was two weeks ago. Um, and if you have any connection to Fayetteville High School, you might, you might recognize Monica, but it's kind of, it's kind of hard to tell really. I mean, you might be able to tell that's her. Um, so anyway, so why I'm talking about this shot, um, so during the wedding day, one of the things, and I, I don't know how to describe it, um, it, it may not be the most exciting photos, it may not be the most interesting photos, I don't know how you want to... I don't know how you want to say it, but the actual ceremony photos are usually the more boring of the photos, and uh, the reason being is it's the, the time where you have to be the safest. Um, it's the time where you don't have the, the luxury of taking chances, you know? I can't be going off and trying something crazy and then miss her coming down the aisle. I can't be trying something crazy and miss the kiss. So I, I tend to be much more reserved during the ceremony. So most of my ceremony photos are relatively normal. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, but there's nothing crazy exciting about them. Um, and this situation, I actually tried something different, and I, I went out on a ledge and tried something, and I was pretty pretty thrilled with uh, the results. Um, so a little bit... <laughs> A little background information on Monica and this thing. Um, she contacted me three weeks before her wedding. And that's the time she had to... Uh, <laughs> that's the time she had to actually plan and prepare a wedding. And most of you, your minds are probably blown right now. Because most people spend anywhere from six months to a year or more planning a wedding, not three weeks. But she did it in three weeks. Um, and to make it even crazier, when she talked to me, I was like, yeah, that's cool. I want to be involved, but I'm going to be going to Rwanda for two weeks, and I'll be getting back two days before your wedding. And she was like, I'm totally cool with that. That's whatever. Um, so she was a bit of a risk taker, um, I guess. And I don't know if that played into why I, was, why I took a risk during her ceremony or not. Um, so let's talk about this, uh, this setup. So this room was not gigantic, but uh, the lighting in it wasn't, wasn't great. And the interesting thing is they actually had their friends and family sitting in a circle around them, which is very different but very cool. I've never seen that before. Um, and so I actually set up two lights um, because I knew the lighting in there wasn't great. But I didn't know where this pastor was going to be standing. So I set up these lights. You can see them back here in the corner. Way back here is one. And way over here is another. I had those set up um, thinking the pastor would actually be on this other side facing out. And that I would be shooting from the other direction. And these lights would be able to light the front of them. So that's not what happened. And it actually probably turned out to be a good thing. So... Um, I started messing around 
and I was taking photos. And let me see if I can pull up kind of the the safe. So this is kind of the the safe version of these photos, and there's nothing wrong with this. But this is how I would normally shoot. So um, I was just taking photos with with a flash on the camera, and I was lighting up the whole room. And there's nothing wrong with this. It's a beautiful photo, and it looks great. Um, but there's nothing crazy dramatic about it. So I got some normal photos, and I decided I was going to try and do something different since I had these big flashes set up, which most, most wedding ceremonies, I don't use flash at all. A lot of the times, it's not permitted. So I thought I would try something completely different. So let me kind of explain what I did with this other photo. Let me bring it back up, or at least attempt to. Okay, you should hopefully be seeing it now. So uh, what I did is first, I uh, basically darkened my exposure as much as possible. So I, uh, I raised my shutter speed, I raised my aperture, I dropped my ISO. Um, if you don't know what all that stuff means, don't worry about it. But I basically tried to make this photo as dark as possible. So the lights up here weren't really weren't really putting any light on them. The lights from the window weren't really lighting them at all. Um, so I wanted this room basically as dark as I could get it. So then the flashes in the back are the only things really creating light. And I knew that because they were behind the couple, it was going to create something pretty dramatic. Um, it was going to just kind of highlight the edges of them and not completely light the front of them, kind of creating like a silhouette. Um, so I wasn't sure exactly how it would look, um, but I, I decided I was going to take the risk. So I set all this up. I had another camera on my hip that was prepared in case I needed to quickly switch over. Um, I shot a few photos like this, I adjusted the exposure a little bit more, and I got this crazy awesome photo. Um, probably one of my favorite photos from a ceremony I've ever done, just because it's so different than all the ones. Um, I love that they kind of stick out from everything. You still got these sh the chandelier light showing up, and you can also kind of just see the outline of all the people. Um, but the main focus is kind of drawn to the couple. And I, I just really, really liked the way this turned out, and I thought it was a, it was a good risk to take. Um, I was still able to switch back to my normal settings in time to get the first kiss and everything, so um, I was able to create something different and you know get the normal photos that I always get. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else interesting about this. Uh, we ended up creating some other cool shots outside, but I don't have those edited yet. Um, that may be something for the future. So kind of the kind of the takeaway from this that I learned is you can experiment and try things new. Um, sorry, I just got a random message. I was making sure that it wasn't someone telling me you couldn't hear me or something weird like that. Anyway, um, so kind of the takeaway I, I got from this is it's okay to experiment and try something new. Um, it's it's a good thing to do something different because you will create something that you're not used to. Um, in the future, I'm hoping that I have a second photographer with me more because if I have a second photographer, I can have them take the safe shots and then I can experiment with doing this crazy stuff um, a lot more often. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that happens in the future. Um, again, I love this photo. Anyway, guys, I will be back. I'm going to be back next Wednesday with more tips. Um, so if you love this photo, give it some uh, likes, give it comments, hearts, whatever you want to do. And thank you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.